There may be a few changes on this year's menu. Watch this video to make sure kitchen staff have a heads up on cooking differences that may come with serving new, healthier products. To start, whole grains are really important. They include more fiber, protein, and energy for active scouts. To tell if a starchy product is a whole grain, check the ingredient list. The first ingredient should have the word whole in front of it. For example, you may see whole wheat, whole corn, whole barley, etc. In general, whole grains take longer to cook. Brown rice especially can take up to twice as long to cook and absorbs about twice as much water. Keep this in mind when planning your meal to make sure there is adequate time allotted and plenty of water in the pot for the rice to cook thoroughly. Start the rice early and check it often. For whole grain pasta, boil lightly salted water normally. The salt adds impurities to the water, which helps it boil faster. Boil spaghetti for seven to eight minutes and then test it. For macaroni or larger noodle, it may need to boil another minute or two, but keep your eye on it so it does not overcook and get mushy. If the noodles are for a cold pasta salad, I would rinse the pasta to remove some of the starch. However, if the pasta is for a hot dish like spaghetti, rinsing it may really cool it down. Lean proteins include beans, peas, eggs, chicken, turkey, low-fat dairy, and lean beef. Leaner meats, such as turkey or chicken sausage, cook faster and tend to be less forgiving. For example, if pork sausage is overcooked, the burnt edges may actually have a nice flavor. However, without the fat, the leaner meats turn into a cardboard-like consistency when overcooked. Additionally, convection ovens cook faster. I would recommend cooking at 25 degrees lower than the recipe calls for. Check the internal temperature of lean meats frequently to prevent overcooking. For a reminder of safe cooking temperatures, there is a temperature guide that can be printed from the toolkit and hung in the prep area of the kitchen. Testing all new products before camp begins is always a good idea. Test the cooking techniques during staff week or a little before so when camp begins, everything goes as smooth as possible.